Hello, I'm Gwen Carlton. I'm a doctor of nursing practice. I teach at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, and I practice clinically at Covenant Asthma and Allergy. I'm here at CARPS in Orlando, Florida. It's a beautiful place, by the way. Uh, and I'm giving two talks, and one of the talks I'm giving is on chronic cough. And I wanted just to share a few take-homes with you. Cough, as you well know, is a very common presenting symptom. Chronic cough is oftentimes hard to get to the bottom of. If you look to the literature, you go back 10, 15 years, they're going to say all chronic cough is caused by gastroesophageal reflux disease, asthma, or something called upper airways cough syndrome. But guess what? The new literature says that that's not really true, that we're going to have to have a new paradigm on how we think about chronic cough. Oh yes, chronic cough is caused by GERD, or, or we think it is. It is caused by the condition of asthma. You have upper airway problems, a sinus infection, it can cause chronic cough. Not to deny that, but there's a lot of times that those conditions don't cause cough. And there's a lot of times when you treat for those conditions and you don't get rid of the cough. So the new literature on chronic cough looks at something called cough hypersensitivity syndrome. And that is a syndrome where maybe the cough uh, receptors are upregulated and there's a lot of um, information out there about what it might be, but we don't quite know. And it was interesting that ATS has uh, set up a committee to do a new guideline on chronic cough. So I'm excited about seeing what's coming out about this in the near future. So keep your eyes and ears open. But I just want you to know it's not just those three conditions. That paradigm has failed. <laughs>